Coca-Cola is one of the most recognized brands worldwide. Its international presence cannot be compared to any other, because it is almost impossible to find someone who has never drunk a Coca-Cola product. That's why it's not hard to believe that various objects and even small animals have slipped into the bottles distributed by the company. In Argentina, Amman uploaded a video to YouTube, which became quite popular. The user, Trantafilms, claims to have found a straw inside the bottle. This raised the suspicion of many, because when someone uploads videos claiming to have found something strange, it gives a bad look, one could easily open the bottle first, put the object inside and close it. It has happened multiple times, where people want to sue the company to make money, but in this case the owner of the channel looks very serious and makes different tests in front of the camera to prove that the bottle was closed, and that his finding is authentic. La prueba que, la única prueba tangente que tengo, tangible, perdón, que tangente. This story also has its origin in Argentina. Juan Elias Jara bought a soda with total tranquility, but when he was about to open it, he noticed something strange. He looked at it against the light and found a surprise, a cockroach floating inside the Coca-Cola bottle he had bought minutes before. Juan decided to sue the well-known company, after the prejudicial mediation did not give positive results, and eventually reaching an agreement between both parties. The Coca-Cola representative in the country explained that the returnable glass containers are washed for reuse, the problem is that the company, in order to speed up this procedure, skips some steps in the bottling plants and that is where this type of situation is generated. Another similar case in which the bottling companies were also blamed, occurred in 2006, when a man found a used cotton swab inside a Coke bottle. The government imposed a fine of around $5,000 on the company, as it was considered a legitimate risk to the health of consumers. In China, a man surnamed Gao, was furious when he opened a can of soda produced and bottled by Coca-Cola and found an insect. The company had to pay compensation to the man, who with much dignity, said that he did not care about the money, what he wanted was an official apology, which was provided by the spokesman of the Asian branch. It is assumed that Coca-Cola settled with Gao, since it was never reported what kind of insect was inside the can we can only assume it was big enough for him to feel it in his mouth as he was drinking. One of the worst nightmares came true for a couple in the town of Eastbourne, England. Amanda Barr bought a bottle of Coca-Cola at a local store with 50% free content, which to her was a bargain. Little did she know, however, that the 50% extra content included a huge, scary spider that floated up in her glass when her husband Steve poured some of the drink. Amanda couldn't believe what she was seeing in the glass, and says it doesn't look like an animal from England as she had never seen a spider like the one in the bottle before in her life. The couple assures that there was no possibility that the spider had been in the glass before, since they keep their glasses upside down and the animal came out directly from the bottle. The case transcended so much that a spokesman for the multinational company in England said he understood the inconvenience caused by the situation and that they would collect the bottle to investigate the matter. In Chile, a man was sharing quality time with his young daughter, during the conversation they decided to have a drink. It doesn't take long before the father begins to feel a little sick to his stomach, and to his surprise, the young girl also felt the same way. The men traced the incident back to the Coke bottle that was the last thing they had both consumed, and to their mutual horror, found the object causing the discomfort floating inside, a fungus. He didn't take any risks, 
so he rushed to the closest hospital with his daughter. Fortunately it was nothing serious, and although a complaint was filed, it never had much impact and Coca-Cola did not respond. This happened in Fairwater, Wales. Samantha Roach drank three quarters of the can she bought at the local supermarket when she found a mystery clump in her mouth and managed to cough it up. Samantha then sent the object off to trading standards experts to be tested, and the results showed it contained seven different items that had molded into a half-inch lump. These were a hard insect with a shell and black hairs, pieces of blue wool, a clump of white stones, traces of plastic, traces of a man-made synthetic, wood shavings and a lump covered in a chemical. Samantha said she felt disgusted, but most of all she felt in danger, as she said she could have easily choked with the lump in the can. In the United States, a couple was enjoying an evening, and when they were drinking a toast, both realized that the drink tasted bad, and when they looked at the Coca-Cola bottle, they found the worst, a condom. It is believed that Coca-Cola quickly reached an agreement with the couple, so that this news did not appear anywhere. Even so, there is a report of the case in PDF version of the Supreme Court of Florida, available for everyone on the internet. Coca-Cola paid around $150,000 for unknown reasons, and also had to pay for HIV tests for the couple in case the condom had been used, but fortunately for them, both tests came back negative. Chile and Argentina seem to be the countries where there are more complaints against Coca-Cola, one of the strongest reasons is because in both countries, people often say that the drink is prepared with rats, and sometimes you can find them inside the bottles. For example, in Chile, a man opened a bottle of Coca-Cola, and after pouring it into a glass and sipping twice, he noticed a 6-centimeter mouse floating in the drink. Needless to say, he quickly went to the hospital to be treated for any possible illness. But the case that became most viral was that of Diego Pereira, who posted the following video on his Facebook account. Quería contarles que mi gaseosa está realmente toda sellada, ¿sí? Y por dentro tiene eh, algo, no sabemos qué es lo que es. Viéndolo, es una laucha, no la tomé. Así que yo les voy a enseñar a ustedes que la gaseosa está cerrada, ¿sí? Realmente cerrada. Bueno, ahora, eh, para que vean que no le hago nada, no, no, no. La voy a llevar afuera, la vamos a poner arriba del asador, bueno, ahí se llega a ver, es una laucha, a ver. Ellos no te van a dar otra respuesta, pero bueno, por lo menos los voy a escrachar para que sepan, para que la gente se dé cuenta de lo que realmente está tomando. ¿Eh? Ahí se ven todos los pelos de la laucha. Bueno, acá estoy de vuelta, adentro, la vamos a abrir. ¿Escucharon? Bueno. Ahí está. Vamos a poner la coca, la famosa coca. No me importa lo que dirán. Eh, bueno, la famosa coca. Por detrás se ve que va la lauchita nadando. Ojalá salga o quede adentro, que haga como quiera. Ahí están todos los pelos de la famosa laucha. ¿Eh? No me importa lo que piensen, lo que diga la gente. Solamente quería mostrarle. Ahí está. ¿Ve? Mirá, todos esos pelos. Son de la famosa laucha, de la ratita. Ahí está la rata, gente. Ahí está la rata, gente. Dejen de tomar coca.